welcome back to my channel it's me Marie it's been a while since I posted my last vlog as you can see my hair has grown a lot longer since the last time that I posted my vlog and by the way tonight we will be doing an unboxing vlog for Culture Kings for those who don't know it yet Culture Kings is a retailer in Australia and they do house a lot of um, brands like Nike or Adidas it's basically urban wear the items there are moderately priced it really just depends on the brand that you're picking up I was going through their website because urban wear is not really my thing but I was going through their website and there is this one thing that really caught my eye it is the basketball bag I'll explain to you later what it looks like so it's the basketball bag from culture kings it's from the brand racing hill I'm not too sure if that's a house brand or it's a separate brand that um, sells with culture kings so anyway this basketball bags as you can see in this photo um, it was really cute and I haven't seen it in person I just tried ordering it online to also see how culture kings how culture kings online shopping works i've been very pleased with the experience culture kings has been very good it's just like a regular online shop like you put in your order and they send you a confirmation and then they send you um you know all the shipping shipping details blah 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 anyways so um it's been pretty good from memory i it didn't take a long while because i sorry i can't remember when i placed the order but i believe it was a week ago so it's pretty good for an online shop especially that i didn't pay for um, express shipping i only paid for the standard shipping i believe the standard shipping only costs like around five to six dollars which is pretty good because some of them charge like ten dollars overall i was still impressed with culture king's delivery time and the um, the shipping shipping expenses anyway so this is the packaging um, they put it in a like a plastic bag with um, their brand on it um, some retailers put their uh, bags or items in boxes but I actually don't mind if it came in a plastic not too sure if culture kings does this all the time if they um, if they send your items in a plastic or in a box or if they only sent me in a the item in a plastic because it it was a it's a round bag it's like a basketball bag but anyways I don't mind it I think it's pretty straightforward it's pretty good like um, has the name of the brand in it so I'm pretty impressed pretty impressed packaging is good I can feel the bubble wrap or the protection in there even though it doesn't really need it that much because it's not really a it's not really a leather bag it's more of a rubber bag because it's like a basketball bag anyways let's proceed now to opening the package okay i don't cut any part of the bag be careful we'll see how what it looks like in person this is the packaging plastic all good by the way this item was originally priced at 80 dollars so it wanted to sell for 34 dollars down from $80 so that's really good that's more than half of the price and I paid for $5 shipping so I got it for 40 bucks that's awesome and there you go Ooh. Oops. that's really nice look at that it basically looks like um, like an actual basketball like the size of this, sorry, forgive me, I'm not really a basketball player athlete in any form. But it, to me, it pretty much looks like a regular basketball. Like it's the size, it's bigger than my head. It's big enough to cover my face. So that's how it's, how big it is. So you can carry it like that. It comes with this strap, like shoulder strap, but I don't think it's possible to, no. So you can hold it like that right I'm actually happy because it looks kind of bigger in person which I don't really mind because I love bigger bags and yeah the material is rubber it just has a um, like a weird like a smell it's not really weird but it's like what rubber normally smells like like a actual ball so that's what it smells like and the color it's very pink i wish it the camera gave justice to how pink it is i think it's the lighting of my um my phone or my camera right now it's not very pink but in person it's pretty much like a baby pink 
I, it's really good, like light pink, like baby pink. I do really love it. And then there's gold details on it. And the zipper is gold. It's, I really, really love this. Like this is kind of really up my alley. When I saw it on the website, like what I said, I'm not really an urban wear kind of girl. But when I saw it, I think it's really cute because um, this is my personal style, like pink, white, gold. So uh, with regards to the material of it, it's pretty thick. It's kind of heavy, like what a normal basketball would feel like in your hand, pretty much. Anyway, so the inside is like cloth. I wish I could pull it out, but I'm afraid I would ruin it. So it's like that. It comes with a strap, which is nice. I like straps because um, it can help me go hands-free when I'm walking with this bag. There you go. Yeah. So there you go. This is a strap. It's roomy enough to hold your essentials. You know, COVID times hand sanitizer and a lipstick or a small makeup pouch even and a phone you can fit in there. It's actually very roomy you guys. You can actually fit. I don't think you can fit a tablet in here, an iPad, but I'm pretty sure you can fit more items like lippy or your house keys. You cannot fit a folding umbrella but it can do fit like your pressed powder for retouching, like a little makeup pouch probably, and a phone, which is, I think, that's what girls pretty much carry mainly in their purses anyways. So that's it for today, and I hope you enjoyed my vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye!